Champions crowned tonight one of the country's largest trading card events shuffled into Valley Forge Casino. Fox 29's Eddie Kadem went out to SCG Con to show us what keeps collectors coming back. The organizers told me this three-day event had around a thousand people come out to buy, trade, and of course compete in these huge tournaments. It's really strategic. It reminds me a lot of like poker and like you know games like that that are, require a lot of thinking. The calculated placements. Every move met with a reactionary move. This is the championship of the $30,000 prize pool Magic the Gathering Pioneer Tournament. The prize money is spread out, but this match has thousands on the line. I, in the past, would really get bogged down in the stress, and I think as I've kind of taken a step back and focused on other stuff in my life, uh, I've kind of had a new appreciation for the games. Star City Games Con Philadelphia capitalizes on that appreciation by hosting huge events like this. The game's been going for 30 years, yeah. so a lot of those single cards can only be purchased from packs that were printed 20 years ago. So in order to get our inventory, we have to buy it on the secondary market. A weekend full of vendors, tournaments, and rare cards. The most expensive card I bought this weekend was $700. What's the card? It's called Gaia's Cradle. Okay. It was printed in 1996, I believe, so it's pretty old. It's yeah. two years younger than I am. Um, it's, it's one of the more expensive cards. SCG Con brings together players in a time when human connection has been rare due to the pandemic. It's yeah. funny that something like a card game gives you avenues of people that you'd never even talk to. After playing around 20 games in a sling, Vinny deals the finishing blow and claims victory. Yeah! Do you have any good luck charms or anything with you over Good luck charms? Only my friends. I have a great group of friends that I play with. These guys, I wouldn't, like, continue to do this if it wasn't for them. So I've never won a piece of hardware to put on the shelf, so that's definitely the coolest thing. With Vinny's win here today, he qualifies for sectionals. Those are in San Diego in April with an over $100,000 prize pool. At SCG Con Philadelphia, Eddie Kadem, Fox 29 News.